welcome, welcome, welcome to the Free Ride World Tour. We go straight back up, Verbier rider, Simon Peradon. Simon had a great start, sixth place in his very first run, and coming in hot start here for his second run on the Free Ride World Tour. He's taken some serious air in his top section and is working his way down into the middle of the face. So opting for a 360 into this double, really backing himself, making it clean, getting a little bit of a, of a right footer off that and avoiding the flattest part of that. Another 360, floating it out there. So Simon Peridon getting things going, keeping it hot as he moves into this low wind lip and going for a massive oh, transfer. Oh, 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 screaming out the bottom of the face, that is Fireworks from Simon Peridon. That must have been so hard to like line up the airtime for that too. You have to really commit to going in fast. Yeah, and he's certainly committed to the speed now coming into this. Last one we saw Oscar Manda and he takes it clean. That was the fastest run we've seen by a long shot. Speaking of stylish riders, another Olympian, Finn Billis, on course, the Nolly out of the gate. And he's putting himself right into the guts of this thing, going ultra technical. He may have the freestyle background, but we haven't seen anybody enter through that zone. And Finn with the 360, perfect connection into the landing. So Finn Billis absolutely slaying the top section through the heart cliff now, really bringing the heat. Finn Billis, he's got the slope style background, but his, his pedigree in free ride is second to none, taking on this one, floating in another nice connection. So Finville is making a strong case for himself today. Working his way over to the looker's lip with a big floaty three over the wind lip. Looking silky smooth, buttering his way over. Everything he does, he does with style. And this run so far blending beautifully the combination of free ride and freestyle landing switch, staying switch now. Finn Bill is coming into this lower section, continuing to ride switch with a floaty switch 180. So Finn bringing his own personal stamp onto this, another massive 360. The hits just keep on coming for Finn Billis. What is he lining up for this one? Hand drag three, sick one from Finn Billis. What an incredible run. Top to bottom. old out of the Whistler Free Ride Club, Marcus Gogan. He's looking for a solid result here. He's got a ninth, but he's not holding a second result. He's just trying to find his landmarks for entry as he comes into this one. And a big 360. Clean, is he gonna be able to hold on? Marcus Gogan, a quick redirect into the backflip. Marcus Gogan, clean. Unbelievable for this young rider. Back to back to back. And heading over now to this low line. Oh, <laughs> I feel like if we're watching like an actually well-made version of Johnny Mosley's PlayStation game. Yeah. Pretty good. This man made his debut on the Free Ride World Tour last year right here and could not have made a bigger splash. The first double backflip landed in Free Ride competition. As we see Max spinning into the couloir, bouncing off that like it was a mogul. What a bold start. And we know the snow in here is rough as guts, but Max just handling it. He does a big backy, pulls it round, rides out so fast. Definitely backing up what he did last year with that incredible run on the bass of her face. That was an incredible run. The crowd is going absolutely nuts. Well, we go straight back up. Carl Regner Erickson, second overall last year. Another peak performance rider and Scott rider. So uh, let's see what the FWT 2023 season brings. A big 360 at the top of the couloir. 
into that upper section, flying through here now, catching the wind lift with the flat. Seven. And now off this one with a huge 360, perfect transition. Now he's down into the core, not a lot of features left. Carl just got to hold on and keep it in the fall line. Wow, putting all the elements there and so close together, overexposure. Carl Regner, unbelievable run there as he's holding on the Spanish crowd, firing up for the Swede. Peak performance rider, they're coming through the finish. Heading back up to the top, the Frenchman, Oscar Mandé. He was a wild card onto the tour this year and opened his campaign with a second place, a silver medal and a podium spot at the very first event of the year. And what is Oscar gonna have for us on the face today? Getting some air there, cross court, coming in above the Haltel Cliff. Yeah, keeping it pinned into the fall line. Perfect connection landing. Quite boggy on the way into that one, so not having quite as much of a playground effect on the on the riders runs as we've seen in other years. He's taking on his next one, big flat spin, stomps it. That's where you want to land on that air. Oscar Menten doing his research as he finds the exact right transition as we've seen some other riders get smushed on that landing and he's finding his way all the way across, staying really high on this one. We know there's that big step down roller that Oscar is approaching. And just taking off a little corner of it. Maybe he's got something else planned for yeah, us. Yeah, there are features over here. The dead tree drop far, far over. We saw this be a playground for men's snowboard in the past and Oscar finding a nice transition onto the snow. So a solid, solid run for the young French rider. Always a podium threat, this rider. Ross Tester, we saw him win the very first event that he ever set foot on the Freeride World Tour. He is also a former Freeride Junior World Champion. Had a great preseason in Utah, Ski and Powder. And now we're gonna see what he's got to say here on the Peak to the Plana. Little hop and a 360 off of that one and perfect landing. So Ross Tester getting things started as we expected in a classic Ross Tester way. Coming in on the side angle on this one with a back flip. Dude, so smooth. He's just so smooth, man. Racing through the middle of the face there, finding his next feature. He's got this big step up with a three, making the transition perfectly. Another cross court move here as he finds the sneaky entrance into this lower section. Ross Tester blowing it away here, the second man out of the gate. And it is gonna be hard to beat this one if Ross is able to keep it together all the way down. It's like he's physically incapable of straight air. Like he just has to do some stuff. Taking a lot of speed, cross court there and riding out. What an incredible run. Jam packed features, freestyle tricks. Rock solid skiing. Couple wild cards in the qualifier last year. Wild card into Peterbrun wins that. Now he's sitting in second overall. Max Hitzig, Austrian rider riding out of Germany, just kind of scoping out those corner spots as he sets his way in with a 360, clearing the corner's debris. So Max Hitzig now heading out here. Ooh. So there's a rider's right very steep and into a really technical zone, turning it into a double. He loves his doubles, doesn't he? Why single when you can double? Just really, and I, it's one of those things where you can really prove more points. The judges going massive off the bottom. No oh, freaking way! Max Hitzig with the biggest air of the day and a backflip so casual. A gigantic statement for the young Austrian rider. Teeing that up right off the nose. Ooh. 
Andrew Pollard, though, 28 years old. He's been lighting it up on the tour since the moment he arrived here. Stylish, fast, smooth. Everything he does is fun to watch, and he is going out with some pace across the exposure. Cross court 360 there, coming in with some pace to the Housel Cliff. Big send. Perfect. Stomps it and carries some serious pace over to the right. Just a slight angle on the takeoff gave him that exact angle he needed on the landing. Getting bogged there, one foot in the powder, but not going down and pointing it off the nose of that and turning again to make sure he adds another feature with a 360. So Andrew Pollard, I'm wondering if that bog in the snow kind of kept him from getting to where he wanted to go, but proving that he, he can keep, keep it moving with a scrappy there. So Andrew Pollard, always fun to watch. Yeah, I feel like he's done a little bit of freestyling in this run. I think it hasn't gone totally to plan, but he's pulling it together. Big air there. He looks like he wants something else. Yeah, staying on that left foot, finding another feature with pace. So Andrew Pollard just smooth all the way from top to bottom. Classic A Paul run. Maxime Chablot, the Swiss rider, getting ready to kick his campaign off for victory on the Free Ride World Tour. Well, let's wait and see. I remember last year was his first time on like a really big face like the Wilkes Loda and he had a big yard sale. So I think he's determined to bring it back and get some redemption here on the face. Well, he is going fast out of the gate and using all these rollers as airs. Maxime Chablot wasting no time getting over into this roller air as he pops off it with a lofty backflip. Is he going to be able to, oh, perfect connection with the landing. So Maxime Chablot speeding over on this rider's right side with a 360 now coming. Oh, just getting a little wild there, but still able to ski out of it. Working his way down the cooler, finding his next features, all just surfing that lip there. Getting a bit caught up on some bushes, but holding it all together. That left footer as he comes into this one, throwing the seven, and he's able to land that too. So Maxime Chablot bringing freestyle elements into the big mountain, as is his usual motif. Maxime Chablot now all the way across as he wants to get this last final section. Skiers right of the gully. There are plenty of good options here with another big backflip. Looking a little loose there, but holding it together, airing over that next one. Maxime Chablot on the ragged edge of control, top to bottom on that run, but so, so much fun to watch. Oh my God. Valentine <laughs> Rayner, he had a start on the Free Ride World Tour last year, didn't make the cut and was off to the Challengers where he was able to regain his spot here on the tour as he kicks out the start gate to see what he can do here on the face in Andorra. Working his way through the exposure, it's a few options to take, redirecting to take that one off the nose. Yeah, and finding a really nice connection with the landing there for Valley Rayner, as he is always so smooth. I love his style. Smooth, effortless, tossing the backflip there. Valley Rayner with a big 360 and another beautiful connection with the landing. So Valley Teen Rainer, peak performance, big 360 again. So he's got th two 360s and a backflip in technical terrain. Valentine Rainer absolutely scorching this run. Working his way down for a massive backflip. Little backseat landing, but he pulls it off and straight lines out. So smooth for Valley Rainer. This, oh, <laughs> these guys delivering so far. Everybody looking at this giant mountain face like it's a terrain park. Your Austrian free ride world champion in Ski Man Valley!